mean, like we've, you know, we've landed um, sat satellites, it probes on uh, comets. Correct. We've, yes. we've done that. Yes. And they've they've also seen that the impact of said uh, um, landing slowed the asteroids. Yes, so it does. It diverts them ever so slightly. Yes. Right. And that's and, and honestly, if you catch an asteroid soon enough. That's all you need to do is push it just a little bit off course with a solar sail, with a, a, a nuclear weapon. Solar sail. Yes, it. no, I got it. Okay. The, 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 the giant volcano that's stuck in the side of the Earth. I, I, like, I love the lava tarp idea, by the way. Take that to your investors. That's your new, next new big thing. Lava tarp. Retractable, with it on the web. You know, no. retractable roof. Yes, retractable roof. But the, the plan that you've come up with, the Earth fridge, um, the, it's, it, it, it's supposed to cool like a meter of the, 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 the core in like a year for hundreds of years. They can't even they can't even build a fridge that lasts 10 years for my kitchen. Okay? All right? They, they tried to build a fridge to keep seeds cold in case the, the, the freaking uh, super volcano blew up. And that one defrosted too. Okay? So the, the Earth fridge plan... You, one of these scientists is going to leave the door open one of these days. <laughs> Mike, oh, it's going to go right out the window, Mike. If that thing goes off, if that thing goes off, practice your yoga and, and, and eat your, your supreme greens because you're going to need that flexibility to kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> uh, I don't dispute any of that, but you, you guys are just missing what I'm saying. Is that I don't know what the plan is to defuse the super volcano. I have no clue. All I'm telling you is that you can get in there and study it much easier than you can the asteroid to come up with the idea. He just told you we've land on, landed on comets and diverted them. Okay, and I didn't want to jump in because I didn't want to talk over them. But we don't know where all the asteroids are. We pretend like we do. I've said this 4,000 times, and maybe you're just not listening. No, no, I, I, I've heard you. I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> Every time this last asteroid passed, they didn't see until the last minute. And that is so common. That they, they think they have them all charted and numbered. Asteroid A345, right? Sure. And they think they think they got them all. And then, it, you know, here comes one that's going to buzz us between us and the moon. And they're like, oh, we didn't see that one. And that's what's going to happen. There's going to be an asteroid coming our way that we don't see. And you're not going to be able to send up your solar sail, Mike. And that's the issue. And there's no way to study it because you don't even know it's there. This is my point. Okay. I'm still more worried about the super volcano. I'm still more worried about the super volcano. I'm telling you, when that thing blows, look out. Look out. And I didn't even think about the San Andreas Fault, as the last caller said. The whole West Coast is going to fall into the ocean like the edge of a stale cookie. I'll tell you, though, the extinction events can take decades, hundreds of years. So this is why I still feel the ramen noodles are imp important. And I don't need to kiss my ass goodbye there, uh, Mike. I can... You ride it out better than the next guy. Yeah, I don't give a rat's ass about your ramen noodles. You can do whatever you want with your ramen noodles on your own time. Riding it out. So what? You get a few extra years. You're just going to procreate. You're well, going to yes. be the one that. See, this is this is where the hubris comes in with people like you because you are going to be the saviors of men. I'm not saving mankind. I'm saving myself and my kids <laughs> for yeah. a few extra years. Yep, I'll take it. I'm telling you what, unless you drop a few more pounds, you're not going to fit in that bunker of yours, <laughs> you and your family. That was the old felger. That was the pre-survival. Aren't you going to get robbed anyway? Yes, I need guns. You're going to have to rub your head with some Crisco to get you in there. <laughs> the number one apocalypse issue on my board right now is my lack of firearms. You're going to need like a no, shoehorn to get you in no there. There's no question about it. So, Murray, maybe I will contact your father here at some point. But I yeah, do see, need something. See, see if he can, see if he'll buy into that deal of trading ramen noodles for a gun. See how that goes. <laughs> then he'll just, he'll just hold you up and take all your food and leave you there naked. Murray, with an update, then we're back with more. Sports up,